everyone. Welcome back to Let's Get Cinematic. My name is Tiffany and everything we discuss on this channel has to do with physical media. So where have I been for the last week? Well, Thanksgiving here at my house is a huge deal. It is a big holiday. I do host, um, which I normally host every holiday, but Thanksgiving I go all out. So over the last week I've been busy just gathering things that I need for my um, Thanksgiving dinner and all that fun stuff. So I am back. We are going to uh, unpack a horror pack, and then I'm going to show you a few things that I have picked up. There were some um, pre-orders in here. There were some Black Friday deals in here. Um, so tomorrow, typically, I would do my TV series, um, but I'm not going to do one this Sunday. I'm just going to do a what did I pick up for the month of November because there's so much stuff to go through. So that's probably the video that I will put out tomorrow. So let's go ahead and get started on the horror pack. I already had opened it out of the box and it's in this little pack here. The very first movie we got in here is, looks like they're exclusive. Um, horror pack exclusive number 89 and it's dude bro party massacre three it's in this little plastic case i have no idea what this movie is never heard of it i'm assuming it's uh a playoff of slumber party massacre from the 80s not sure so that's that one and then we got nazi undead And if you don't know what Horror Pack is, it is a movie subscription. Um, I think I pay $30 for it. I'm not 100% sure on the cost, but I get the Blu-rays. You, you also have the choice to get the DVDs, um, which I think is a little bit cheaper, but it comes once a month, and it's a reoccurring subscription. So if you want to build up your collection, this would be a good way to do that. Um, so I've only had it. This is my second month um, having it. So far, I like it. I'm just hoping that I don't get any repeats of a lot of the movies that I already have. But I guess we'll see. So again, Nazi Undead. Never heard of this movie. Don't know if it's any good. Don't know. The next is, I do have this one, Rings. So this is definitely a repeat for my collection. That's a little disappointing, but I guess you're going to have that when you don't know what's coming. And the last one we have is Kill Her Goats, which I've heard a lot of um, opinions about this movie and that it wasn't the greatest movie or whatever. But I was actually just looking to buy this. I was looking at it on eBay and I had saved it. Um... Or put it on my, you know, want list or whatever. And I'm glad I actually got it. So now I can check it out and make it, make that decision for myself. Okay. So that is what I got in the horror pack. I think that's it. Yep. That's it for that. So let's throw that over here. All right. And so this is what I picked up. Some of the stuff I picked up. This is not all of it. This is just some of the stuff that I picked up. I just wanted to show you guys some because there's so much to show that the video would have been super long. So I figured I'd just go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff that I did pick up. So this was a pre-order um, and it was Saul X, the 4K. It's got like an embossing on the front of it. And then my ring light's like kind of in the way there. Got this nice little slip on it. I wouldn't seen this movie in theaters. I know a lot of people say that this is probably their favorite one. I still, um, and I would still say that part three, Saw three, is my top favorite. And then this would probably be a very close second. So um, I actually really enjoyed this movie. I went, like I said, to the movies and seen it. So, but my husband didn't go with me that time. So he's like looking forward to actually watching it. So that was a pre order. I got. Spiral on 4K, part of the Saw franchise. I love the colors on this. I think I have this on Blu-ray, but I upgraded it to 4K, so that will be an upgrade. Um, and then this one right here I got was Jigsaw, and it was also the 4K. So I got Jigsaw, Spiral, and the new Saw X all on 4K. This next one was another pre-order, and that was The Nun 2. 
I have told you guys a million times on here that the Conjuring franchise is my top favorite. I love it. I love paranormal um, movies. So I went to the movies and seen this as well. I really enjoyed this. Actually, I enjoyed this more than the first nun. Um, so I knew that it was a pre-order for me all the way. So got that. Okay, and then this I bought off of eBay, and it was Stephen King's Thinner. I've never seen it, but um, it's a Stephen King movie, and so, in my opinion, you can't go wrong with buying it and adding it to the collection. I've not opened it yet. It's still, um, it was from, it says 1996, so, I don't know. Look forward to watching that one. Then I bought these two Walmart Black Friday. Um, I was a little disappointed they didn't come with a slip cover. Um, and then my one, this one I'm about to show you, my case was broken, so I had to get on Amazon and buy new 4K cases to put it in, and it was Chevy Chase's National Lampoon Vacation. Um, if you ordered off of Walmart for any of their Black Friday media, did you guys have a delay in your shipment? Because I've watched a couple people on here say that they had delays too, and I did as well, so I just wondered if it was me or if, you know, other people had the delay. Um, again, it's the Chevy Chase National Lampoon. This I changed out the case. Now it was broken right here on the corner, which is very disappointing when, you know, you buy something and it comes broken. Um, and then the other one that I got on 4K, again with no slip, was the 4 uh, I already said 4K once, is the Shawshank Redemption. This is one of my favorite movies. Like, it's probably in my top 25 movies, probably my top 15. Um, so I bought it on 4K as well. So I, that will be an upgrade in a future video of what I upgraded. This movie, um, I know a lot of people don't like. I loved it. My husband and I went in, again to the theaters and watched it. And I know a lot of people think it's like a raunchy, no good movie. But I thought it was hilarious. And that was Strays. And I am glad to have it in my collection. The next one, I think I already showed this one, but I'm not 100% sure, and it's Stephen King's um, four-disc collector's edition of The Mist, and I just watched this for the first time. You know, I had this DVD in my collection for years, and I've never watched it, and then I started hearing things about it recently when they like put it out on the 4K um, edition, which is what this one is, um, and I had never watched the movie, and I watched it, me and my husband, the other, I'd say about a week and a half ago, two weeks and oh my goodness, I had been missing out. That ending was traumatic. I thought about that movie all night, and then I thought about it all the next day. Um, it was just really, really sad. But this edition was really neat because you have um, two of the movies in black and white, and then two of them in color, which I thought was really neat. Like if you wanted to switch it up or whatever, the vibe of the movie. So we got that one. This I got off of eBay. This is Auntie Lee's Meat Pies. Which is a vinegar, I think it's vinegar syndrome. I, I should know this. I don't know why I'm... Anyway, so, and then hopefully I don't get demonized on the back there. Demonetized. Not demonized. Um, vinegar syndrome. So I did buy this off of eBay. It's got a really cool slip on it. So I was really happy to add that to my boutique label collection. All right, so this last stack here I'm going to show you. I got this off of, uh, actually, I think I got these at the Dollar General, um, and it's Beginners. I'd never heard of it, but, you know, I like a little rom-com comedy, so I wanted to check it out. I read the back of it. It seemed pretty interesting, so I added that to the collection. This movie I've seen years ago, but um, it's her with uh, Joaquin Phoenix in it. This was at the Dollar General, too, and I did not own this movie. I thought I did on DVD, but I didn't, so I went ahead and added that to the collection. This next few, I think I got from Hamilton Books or Groove. No, I got them from Groove. So I got Mega Time Squad. Never heard of it, but again, looked like it would be a good movie. And then I got Renfield, which I enjoyed this. I know a lot of people were disappointed. Um, I think a lot of it was because Nicolas Cage was not in a lot of the movie, which, you know, 
I mean, I, I probably agree with it, but I thought it was a really good movie. I went to the theaters and seen that one too. The next one is Violent Night. None of these, well, yeah, nope, none of these came with a slip either, so. And then the last one I got from Groove was Cat's Eye, um, Stephen King. So these next four, or was, I think maybe that Cat's Eye came from Hamilton book, actually, that was Hamilton book. Um, and then these other three came from Hamilton book as well. Um, this is Arrow's um, Sleep. It come with a slip. It's still in plastic. So I can add that to my Arrow collection. Then I got uh, Clive Barker's Hellraiser. That didn't come with a slip, unfortunately. And then I got Asteroid City, which did come with a slip. And then I got, I'm not sure if I've already had shown you guys these. I might have already shown these, but um, The Bridges of Madison County. Very good love story. Very long one, but it is definitely worth the watch. Highly recommend it if you haven't seen it. Then I got the double feature of Teen Wolf and Teen Wolf 2. And then I got Love Ranch. And the last one is Darkness Rising, which I think these were all from Hamilton Books, if I'm not mistaking. So that is what I'm going to show you today. I won't be showing these again in the next video because I got so much more to show you guys. So um, I hope that you had a great holiday. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Um, and I will be back tomorrow with what I bought in the month of November, minus what I just showed you. And you guys have a great weekend and have a great day. Bye-bye.